Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and do a reading for their current feelings towards you. So we're going to see what your um, person's current feelings towards you are right now. And we're going to tap into um, the Romance Angels Tarot as well as Hidden Truth Oracle. So these are um, messages from your person. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's the vibe in between you and your person. So here we get reconciliation and getting to know each other, okay? So your person would wa want to reconciliation with you and they would want to get to know you better. And, you know, they're willing They're willing to basically um, open up and get to know you and <clears throat> move the, this relationship forward, okay? There's a lot of chemistry in between you guys, so... They like this. They love this about you. So let's go ahead and look into tarot. What's happening in this connection? How is, what's their current feelings towards? Get the hermit. The star card. Wow. And the six of wands. Wow, I don't know what's going on in your life aside from this love relationship, Gemini, but the star card and the six of wands, this is like you guys receiving a lot of attention, whether it's on social media or in person. You guys are going to be receiving a lot of attention when it comes to your work, your career, your love life or from this person. Okay, there's like a lot of attention here. It's like all eyes are on you. You can be like the one for this person. With the star card and the six of wands or you feel like the one to this person okay because this is how they feel about you this is their current feelings they feel like you could be a one and only because the stars are very special and the star card is very special so you could be very special to this person and the six of wands they could feel like you are a little bit egotistical but it's nothing that gets in the way of your guys's relationship. They actually like this about you. They like how, um, <laughs> they like how self-centered you are. That's what I heard. They like how selfish you are. I feel like you could be selfish. Okay. With the, with these two cards put together, but they like this about you. Okay. They like how you receive attention all the time. Like this is, this is how they feel about you. This is their current feelings towards you. Let's go ahead and um, clarify this. Clarified by the High Priestess. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Their current feelings towards you right now are that they would like to talk to you. They would like to come forward. Yeah. And they would like for things to be good in between you guys. And for that's why there's a reconciliation here. And I do feel like that's what's coming up next. Like they could be coming forward um, towards you and making you, you know, a proposal or just basically coming back into your life and having a, a reconciliation with the Ten of Pentacles here. But there is something really like there's like a huge blessing coming into your life aside from this. If it's not this love situation with the star card and the ten of pentacles, this is really, really nice. Like, I don't know what you have going on in your life right now, Gemini, but this is really nice to see all these cards put here because there's like this huge blessing. It could be work related. For some of you guys, this is like a, a raise. This is a job promotion. Or like I said, receiving the right attention from the person you like, right? So let's see. Let's look at their messages. We do have reconciliation coming up here. So this is someone who you've been with in the past. Let's see what they would want to say to you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. 
I don't react when people mention you. So it looks like to me like you could be really popular and like people talk about you and like this person doesn't react. We need to let each other go. I'm not available. I wish things could be different though. I look for you everywhere. I hide behind material things. And then I can't stop thinking about you. So this person is definitely thinking about a reconciliation with you, though. Like, I feel like they're in their dream. <laughs> they're in their dreams thinking about this or in the higher realms and the spiritual realms because you got two spiritual cards. So you're connected to this person spiritually. And maybe spiritually, you guys are having a union, right? It's like when you guys connect telepathically or you guys just feel each other's energy. And like, you're like, oh, I was thinking about this person. And you're like, you know, why was I thinking about them? Or out of nowhere, you start thinking about them again. And it's like, you know, brings up old feelings, old emotions and stuff. That's what this feels like. So this feels like a lover who you had in the past who, you know, you guys let each other go because things, you know, life. But they still think about you. And what I'm getting is like you guys are connected spiritually still. And I do feel like you're going to see them somewhere. You're going to see them when you're out and about somewhere. You guys may talk. Okay. Oof. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some more signs for you. Gemini. So you got sextile, a combination of tension and flow, potential and rewarding situation. This could be like your hard work paying off. The moon, again, Pisces, Cancer energy. North node destined to have wow it's like you're destined maybe you're destined to be with this person in the future because the star card is about the future so maybe in the future there will be a reconciliation with this person and then Jupiter grow and expand this is also Sagittarius energy let's see what other sign you could be dealing with Sagittarius as well I mean again <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and see what else they would like to say to you, okay? With a couple more cards here. You're my beautiful angel. I miss you. Ah, well, I can't focus. Let's see what else. I wish things were different. This came up twice. Everything is too much right now. And then you're so special to me. This person can't forget about you. And I don't think they'll ever forget about you. Because I feel like the impact you left in their life was so much more greater than anybody ever has. So they're never going to forget about you. That's for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and end your reading off with a self-care oracle. So you get watch a movie. Spend time with friends. And create art. Art can come in all sorts of ways too. So not just drawing, painting. For like making music and stuff like that. So that is all I have for you. Gemini, thank you so much for tuning into this reading. Um, I'll catch you guys at your next sign or your other readings. Bye for now.